to the 50,000 people that will be infected this year and every year since I was in third grade. I don't need data to tell me that my sisters, my community, continue to be infected with HIV. Right now, my future isn't about if, it's about when. Enough. We know that this is the moment that we find ourselves in. We're really at a crossroads when we think about the HIV epidemic. The Cascade talks about why people aren't engaging in certain aspects of healthcare, why they're testing late, why they don't link to care, why they don't start treatment, why they don't stay in treatment. These are people who are African American, they're Latinos, trans women, gay men, women, youth. All of these individuals are having difficulties across the treatment cascade. My entire life, I really believe that because of who I am eventually, I will test positive for HIV AIDS. And there's been such a tremendous amount of shame and stigma that has surrounded me and sex my whole life. It's not comfortable to talk about HIV. HIV is still incredibly stigmatized. A dear friend of mine, trans woman, who didn't want anyone to know that she was HIV positive, and so she hid it, and she didn't go and seek medical attention, and she, and she passed away. And when I think about that, I think that there is so much more work that we have to do to begin to lift the stigma and the shame around HIV and AIDS. We need to think about this in a different way. We need to be more aggressive, more creative. We need to work together better to help people with HIV. The patients have given us a new mandate, and that mandate is for us to change the system to meet their needs so that they feel safe and comfortable when they come in to engage in care. At this moment, I think we have a lot of big things that already can alter where we are with the epidemic. We know that progress is taking place in many clinics around the country, where from the very beginning of the epidemic, where people who did not have access to antiretroviral therapy now have access to therapy with very few differences by race, by sex, by sexual orientation, et cetera. This is success. This is something that's powerful. This is something that we need to build upon. We have the federal government on the right side of history with us. We have the advocacy community as strong as ever, and we have the scientific community still doing all the incredible work that needs to get done to really make us end the HIV epidemic. Now I know some of you are listening to me and you're sitting there thinking, yeah right, what can I do? I'm just one person. Well to you I say step up. We all come in contact with people on a daily basis. Are we missing opportunities to educate people about HIV? We all have a role, so find yours. This is the best moment that I know of in the history of the epidemic for us to really do something. And I know that the commitment is there and, and I'm really looking forward to moving forward with it. Remember, your voice is important. Your efforts matter. We all are in this together. We all have a stake in this fight against HIV. This is our moment. This is our mandate. Let's not waste it. Enough is enough.